ready for the day. Stay tuned. <laughs> Peace, what's going on you guys? Welcome to the day in the life of Basha. Today, I just woke up. Yes, I woke up like this. Check me out. I'm about, to, I'm about to make my bed because it's a complete mess. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna get dressed, feel cute today. Um, actually, I'm gonna eat something. I'm gonna do my yoga. So I'm gonna take you guys with me on doing that. And I'm also, just, just look at this bed, like, you guys, I'm kind, I'm, I'm kind of self-conscious about my bed not being made, so she's going to get her life and make this bed because that's going to be an issue for me. I don't want you guys like looking at my bed like, dang, she don't know how to like clean up after herself. Like, what's up? Okay, so two things. I want to get some new plants in the house. Tell me what plants you guys recommend in the comments down below because I really just want to make sure like wintertime I'm having that whole, you know, tropical energy all the time. You already know. Um, so... I am horrible. Like, I killed one of my Dracinias, and I'm just, I need, I need to learn how to, like, be a better plant mom. Um, yeah, it's a struggle. It's a struggle for the plant mom. Shout out to y'all. But anyway, I'm just gonna straighten up my bed, and I'm gonna do some yoga, so probably put this in a time lapse, but stay tuned. Yeah, um, for the most part, she's just going to make some lunch today. I was going to edit like a reel for you guys on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, what you doing? Bye. Felicia. She is not here for it. So I'm going to change into my yoga clothes because I'm still in my like pajamas and I'm going to get ready for the day. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on? So I just got finished getting dressed. So I'm going to do some yoga. So yeah, it feels good to be alive. Mm. So I just finished my yoga. I'm about to make some soup. I normally do like a wake up routine, but I'm just going to let her rest because I'm getting ready for a very special event and it's gonna be interesting so I'm gonna go into the kitchen and I'm gonna make some wong tong soup or like a Thai kind of like dumpling soup and yeah I'm gonna just get everything set up and relax today I'm gonna be doing my hair I'm gonna be doing my toes so yeah I'm doing bantu knots I think today and I'm gonna do my toes and I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do my nails too. So today is a self care Sunday. Yes! And it's saving money self care Sunday because I don't wanna go to get my stuff done from anywhere else. I just wanna do me today. So come with me into the kitchen. Bye to my beautiful room with this amazing lighting. I'm gonna open this up and look who's there to greet me. Say hi, Sabr. Sabr, say hi, dear. No. No, he's trying to play with the string that's attached to the camera. Oh, he's my baby. Okay, so we're going. Come on. Okay, so I've already started boiling water. Um, I'm going to add some vegetable kind of like broth in there and we're gonna that's how we're gonna start off the soup so I'll take you guys with me on this journey just like at the right time so I'm just adding just a little bit maybe a little bit more so that's the base of like what I do for like a soup
Okay, so I have bitter melon here for those of you who are, you know, into health food and eating a certain way. So here's the bitter melon that I got. I'm going to just use half of this and I'm going to put that in the soup because I really just want to have something that's really, um, it's, it's not that flavorful, I'm going to say. This actually tastes better in fried rice. If you guys want to fried rice, it's nice. It's a sour alternative to having like the rice instead of putting lemon in your fried rice, like squeezing lemon. Uh, it's quite tasty when you put ses some sesame oil. But for the most part, I just want to be able to make a healthy soup that is beneficial for my antioxidants and immune system and this does it and it's also good for my digestive system as well so bitter melon baby that's what i'm doing so there we go cutting all the you know leaving the access whatever we don't need and these i don't mind cutting into smaller pieces because honestly what I've noticed is when I cut these into smaller pieces that the flavor is a lot less saturated because it is really bitter. <laughs> it's a bitter melon. I forgot what they call it in Africa, but this is like essentially... Ooh, look at the nails, girl. Anyway, um, you know, just crushing it up. You don't want to crush it up too much because you want all the enzymes to like, you know, go into the soup. Um, and... The thing about soup is people don't realize like your enzymes are staying intact because you're boiling it and they actually like some of them get released through the, the steam of the soup but they also get collected because of the the water it's retaining all of that and like just soaking up like all of those nutrients as well so like your soup is extra nutritional and that's why people make soup when they're sick because the antioxidants it's still food but you're not missing out on any antioxidants and also the temperature of it, it's really good to kill any germs bacteria um viruses so it's actually a win-win when you're making soup because you have all the flavor and all of the antioxidants and enzymes so so that's the bitter melon and i'm just gonna dump that into the soup and chuck away the excess Okay, so I'm putting two of these frozen, um, so I'm putting two of these frozen, I'm putting, so I'm putting two of these frozen, um, I would say that they're dumplings, but they're probably not, um, but I'm just putting these inside, they're frozen, and they're gonna, uh, melt down. While this is boiling, I'm going to add some pepper. And right now, it's just like, I see already the, the onions getting a little bit lighter purple. So, um, this will be done in the next 5 to 10 minutes. I'm going to add more water. And I think what I'm going to do is just, um, yeah, I'm going to add um, the pepper. And I'm going to add some spinach into this one. Because I just want to really have some a nutritional soup that's gonna help fight any antioxidants, I mean any um, toxins or anything that I have inside of me because it's COVID, Rona is out here, okay? So I prefer using the red chili flakes. These are actually like essential for any household. Can you see? These are like the red chili flakes I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use that to spice up the soup. And I put more than any average person would probably put because I, I don't feel like it's really that spicy, but. And I feel like this is great. Like if you get vegetables and you know, you get peppers and they go bad, this is actually an alternative to making sure you still have, you know, that in your house or in your cupboard or like wherever you keep your spices.
But yeah, that's gonna boil. And then we're gonna add the spinach last because we don't want all the enzymes to be gone from the spinach. So while that's boiling, 